Here we'll start using sets to answer survey questions. We're given this statement that Brienne surveyed students in her school to determine what type of movies they prefer. Science fiction, comedy, both or neither. We're letting A represent science fiction, so that would be the blue circle on the left, and B will represent comedy, so that would be the green circle on the right. And here she has expressed the results of her survey with this diagram, this Venn diagram. We can ask some questions based on this now. For instance, we can answer the question, how many students did she survey as a whole? All we have to do is look through this and count up how many students there are in total. This 13 represents all the students in the blue circle that are outside the green circle, so just the ones in this left half. 24 represents the ones in the green, but outside the blue. Six represents the students in the middle, and then there are eight students who are not in either circle. So if we add these up, we get 13 plus 6, that's 19, plus 24, that's 43, plus 8, that's 51. So there's a total of 51 students that she surveyed. The second question asks, how many students like science fiction? So we come back here, science fiction is everyone in the blue circle. There are 13 of those outside of the green circle, and 6 of those that are also inside the green circle. So there's a total of 19 that are inside the blue circle. So we simply add those two up, and we get there are 19 students who like science fiction, according to the survey. The next question is subtly different. It says, how many students like only science fiction? That would be the ones who are inside the blue circle, the science fiction circle, but not also inside the green circle. So that would just be the 13 on the left. Similarly, how many students like comedy? If we come back here, comedy is the green circle. There's a total of 30 students, the 24 plus 6, inside the green circle. So the number of students that like comedy is 30. How many students like comedy but not science fiction? That's just like question C. We could also ask how many students like only comedy, and that would be an equivalent question. If we come over here, the ones that like comedy but not science fiction, that's just those 24 on the right of the green circle. How many like both? That's the students that are in the overlap or the intersection between the two sets, and there are six of those students. How many like science fiction or comedy? So that would be anyone in the union of these two sets, right? Because and refers to the intersection or refers to the union. And in the union between these two sets, there's 13 plus 6, which is 19, plus 24, which is 43. So there's a total of 43 students who like either science fiction or comedy. How many like neither? That would be the students who are outside both circles, which is just these eight in the universal set, but outside the two sets, A and B. How many do not like science fiction? Science fiction is the blue circle, so we want all the students that are outside the blue circle. That would be these 24 that are inside the green circle, and these eight that are outside both circles. If we add those two up, we get a total of 32. How many do not like comedy? Similarly, if comedy is the green circle, those who don't like comedy are those who are outside the green circle. There are 13 over here in the blue circle and eight outside both circles. So if we add those two up, we get a total of 21 students who do not like comedy. So we can answer lots of different questions like this by thinking carefully about what regions in that Venn diagram correspond to those who are described in words like in these questions here.